Bear Podcast 478. It involves showing of more fur. <laughs> There's nothing like making a pig bottom squeal than using bacon. Loop. Village there full of cake. Hey, all you bears. Okay, I just saw this on Facebook today. I think he's closeted. I think he's just closeted. And I got my ass chewed out by everyone. <laughs> it's thanks to the gay, the geek, and the bizarre. Laying on the couch with the bonbons and the jocks. Just that, I can say so. I'm next to <laughs> Who's on 16 with You're right? listening to BearPodcast.com. He called and then he was freaked out. You're really bitter here. Yeah, I am very bitter. bitter. bitter it's been party a shitty one week. Over bitter here. party of one right here. It's been a shitty week, let me tell you. Welcome everyone to Bear Podcast. I am Nard. And I am Dave. And we are here in P-Town. Yay, Yay. Bear Week. Bear Week. It's Bear Week. And we're having fun here. And uh, it's actually... Uh, we're recording this on a Wednesday. It's a July uh, 6, 17th. What day is it? I don't even know. I don't even know what day it is. Let me see. It's July 17th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened yesterday? Okay, so uh, before we go with our our uh, recap. Oh, so I much think noise. So setting up a... Some um, tables. Table oh yeah, that's right. Chairs. Are Sorry for that. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little noisy, but it's okay. It's not gonna be too hard. Uh, no. Too, hurt too much. Okay. But anyway, okay. So this um, this weekend, this week, we arrived here safe and sound. <laughs> except for your bags, right? <laughs> Everything arrives safe and sound except my bags. Okay. All what my happened. clothes in. It. What's yeah. the drama behind your bags um, going in? Coming I in? fly priority on United. Uh-huh. And then they lost my bags, even though I had a big orange priority sticker thing on it. They forgot to put it in the plane. Um, don't ask me how that happens, but it did. And not only me, but a bunch of priority people, so they weren't just picking on me. Yeah, I, I remember I was getting the bag. Hey, our, our bags are here. Where's your priority tag so bag? So that started a whole, a whole dramatic issue for all of us, right? I Kinda. know. Because Maynard was going to wait for his husband, Mike, to get in. Yeah. And he thought he was getting in around the same time as my bags were supposed to get in, maybe on that same flight. Mm-hmm. So we decided, uh, my buddy Rob was picking us up. <coughs> um, shout out to Rob for doing that. Yeah, thanks, awesome. Rob. Yeah. Rob picked us up, and we were all going to go get lunch. And the traffic was horrible in Boston that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, yeah. It was really bad. Just so to get, it took us a little longer than we thought. For a few thought. miles, it takes about five minutes, ten minutes or so. Yeah. And we were about to get lunch, and um, it's Maynard's anniversary. That's right. So <laughs> And actually, Mike shows up at the... Yeah. At, at so the, Friday uh, is our wedding anniversary. Me and Mike, yeah. when we got married at the, uh, at the wharf, at the, uh, where the boat docks. Uh, yeah, that's where we walked around there. We also went to well, that's that's uh, where did we do that? We we did that last Sunday. But what I'm saying is, uh, we celebrated our uh, first wedding anniversary at the Boston Common. We were still, we were still in Boston then. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first night you stay you stay in Boston. I've never been on a cl- on a clover field. Right. It's my, I, I, the only time I remember they were sitting on the clover field. Right. So did you get shit from Mike for not being there? Oh, not really. Not really? He was oh, just he tired was anyway, okay. so he's okay. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so we're good. We're good. We, we well, I was there. worried that we were like, we kidnapped Maynard for a while. And Mike's like, where, <laughs> well, I thought we're going to we're gonna have enough time to go back to the airport and stuff like uh, that. Yeah, to we get thought the bags. so. When, when did you get your bags? I got them at about 5.30 that night. I oh, went in there and picked them up. Oh, you picked it up? Okay. Yeah, so I have them. Oh, that's so that's up. good. I went... I mean, I've been basically naked all week anyway. But. <laughs> so much for priority bags. <laughs> That's right. So, so we went to the alley that evening, Friday night. Yeah. And I, I yeah, you got to I meet. I didn't see you, though. You okay. I, yeah, we went early. We left early. I got to meet Rick Kopp from, um, from uh, uh, where the bears are. Right. So, yeah, we were all drinking and everything. And uh, I said, oh, my God, it's Rick Kopp. So nice. I got to meet him at last. We had him in the show. Dave and I interviewed him a couple of weeks ago, uh, talking about where the bears are, too. Um, season two, right? And uh, we're just looking forward to seeing them this week. Uh, yeah, I bumped into him at the alley too. Uh, after you did, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he he seemed to be having a good time. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, all the guys do. I've I've talked to them all week. Those guys, and uh, they all seem to be having a great time. It was really hot though. Was at it? the alley, I think the AC broke down. Or just because mm, the mere fact there. there are hundreds of bears inside. It's always hot in the alley. It's always, it's always hot. Yeah. I've been there. Even though there's not much people. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know why. The place is just hot. So. Yeah. So we were there, and um, the next day, mm-hmm. what what time did you ride the ferry? Yeah, no, you didn't ride the ferry. I was going to be on the nine o'clock ferry. Um, but so you swallowed the expense and just rode. I did. But I mean, I saw my ticket on the way home. I have to get from some friends. But uh, 
uh, my friend Rob, who was nice enough to let me stay at his house Friday night, uh, decided he wanted to come for a night. So he drove out, and I decided to drive with him, which was cool because I got to see, go see uh, Plymouth Rock. Oh, you did? Yeah, I saw Oh, you there. took a picture of it. I remember. I did. Okay. I took a big picture of a, it's a, a big rock. I saw the and, Plymouth uh, Rock before. Uh, I'm sorry. I was distracted by the by that that. (laughs) there's a condom on the sand in front of us (laughs) Um, but yeah I went and um, I went and saw Plymouth Rock so now my life's complete I've seen a rock really? yeah it wasn't a rock one of the earliest it is a giant rock it's a big granite rock it's not a rock lobster no kidding no no it's not it's it's just a real rock okay so from there you drove all the way yeah yeah we stopped in a how many uh, hours was that? It's only... Three hours? No, not even. But we took our time because we stopped in a lot of places, so oh, okay. it probably became that. But we went to the National Seashore here. It's beautiful, so we, we took some pictures along the way. Okay. So I got... I got... Whew, I don't know how many pictures I have. <laughs> and video. I took a bunch of video. So maybe uh, in the next podcast we can throw some of that up. Oh, yeah. I've... I don't know, maybe a hundred singlet pictures. Oh yeah, that's right. Check out my Tumblr account. You'll see them there, <laughs> except for one guy who doesn't want it out there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, take there, a picture. Yeah, I told people you know. Well, we we rode the ferry coming in, so yeah. that was fast. Around two o'clock. Right. That Saturday, it was it was good. I mean, uneventful. The trick right. there is really to be there two two hours before. You have right. to be really early so you could get a good seat. So what did you oh, do when oh, you arrived? We, we, we rode with the governor. Oh, that's right. That's right. Governor we were with Patrick the governor. Was at Bear Week. Governor Patrick was <laughs> at Bear Week. He went to Pete Town Patrick. with us. Patrick. Oh, my. Yeah, we... My, my Michael's saying a, he's turning into a bear. He used to be like a big in-shape guy. Oh, like yeah. A, I saw the pictures, yeah, online. And then, yeah, he was bigger, but now he's a little uh, thinner now. Like, it yeah, looks like he's... Yeah, he's always been kind of thin, I thought. But Mike said he's turning into a bear? We, was he just joking with me? I think he was just joking. Uh, but then, awesome. we, we were, we, you know, he was trying to be inconspicuous. He was wearing a ball cap. Oh, really? Just a white shirt. And, well, so, the, the governor the, thinks he can hide from people? And, um, that's right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, people were trying to get a picture with him, but they were, right. no, no, no pictures. No pictures of no the No pictures bears. of the... With he's the got a, He's got another election someday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be caught with all these he's gay guys. He's very friendly. His, uh, his daughter's a lesbian. Oh, that's right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You mentioned so. before. Yeah, it's a, it was an interesting ride uh, on the ferry boat just coming in. So, after that, uh, what else happened? Yeah, what'd you do when you got in off the ferry? Uh, oh, we... <laughs> You're just, belly. You're so, you look like you've lost weight lately, but now you're eating. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gaining again. We went to the Lucky Dog. I'm going to flash pictures of that one because we had, um, what is it, the bear, uh, brown bear uh, Mac Dog with mm. candy bacon. Oh, my God. Everything's bear themed. Everything is bear themed. Bear yeah. this, bear that, bear th- and this there's, the there's a whole menu for that. likes to do is uh, change words into bear. You put a bear. No, actually, particularly for, for Bear Week, I guess. So yeah. for this week. But you're right. You're right. It's the bear community in general likes that. And then all the people that are affiliated with us, like the restaurants, like to you put get a in bear. Yeah. You put a bear in, in, in front of it, or you put a wolf inside, or a fur somewhere. Right. Yeah, it, it, it was good. I mean, highly recommendable. The owner is really nice. He was very accommodating. Yeah, you you had you had some lucky dog data too, right? <laughs> I did, but I had a regular dog there. I, I can't do the mac and cheese one anymore. It's just too much. It's too much. Yeah, for me. <laughs> and I like regular hot dogs with kraut and relish anyway. Yeah. So, so did you go to the boat slip for a swim? I, it wasn't the boat slip. I went to the, Crown and the next day. I went to uh, Crown and Anchor. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is a little bit smaller. Um, some of the more daddy bears like to be there, which not necessarily my thing, but some of the people I was with is their thing. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. We passed there for passed there for a while, and then we did. Oh, we did hang out at the uh, current anchor. We got to meet the uh, uh, the where the bears are. Oh yeah, crew. Yeah, you, we ben, met, Joe, met right. and Rick. So we, we saw Joe Deedle, Ben Zook, and uh, Rick Cobb. Right. And they gave me a shirt here. Oh wow! They gave me a nice. shirt. I bought one from them. It's well, a tank top. Yeah, yeah I, I'm also helping them out. That's why they gave me a shirt because I I'm one of the translators into Filipino of the DVD. So. I kind of watch ahead of ahead of you guys if you guys are watching <laughs> because I had to translate them so they could put it online. So Maynard knows all what's going on in this. I know season. what's going on. I'm a little behind <laughs> on that. I just I got real busy last oh, yeah. couple weeks and it's yeah. hard. You can't really download them as they happen and then watch them on the plane. Oh, you can watch, watch it you offline. Have to stream them. Kind of. Yeah, you have to stream them all the so. time. Well, that's how it is. It might be more expensive if you 
do right. it if you download it. I have to say, those guys have been inundated, and they have been nothing but sweet to everyone. They are so nice. So nice guys. They're great. They're not so like their characters, you. okay? They're not <laughs> like their characters at all. Oh, not at all. I, well, Ben's similar to his character, maybe. Oh, in the know. talks, I guess. I don't know. I mean, they're they're all super sweet guys. Yeah. And uh, we, I've so, enjoyed meeting them and getting to know them a little bit. This I week. got to see Ben naked. Well, not naked. What? Shirtless. Oh, I mean, shirtless. He took I have a picture. His... We'll post that on the Facebook. Oh, yeah. This picture of me and all of them. I'm shirtless and Ben shirtless. Yeah. And Joe's rubbing my belly. Oh, And I'm rubbing hot. his, I think. <laughs> okay, so a- after that, we also went inside. So we, we went to the Bear Mall. I got to see Ron Seresha. He is the host of Bear Soup on Bear Radio Network. So... Uh, I've been talking to Ron for many years online. We have him in the show a couple of times, but talking about his books. And we're like, uh, you know, podcast uh, contemporaries for many years. And we got to meet at last here at P Town, so it's really nice to see him in the flesh. Awesome. Yeah, and also got to talk to um, um, Doug Langway. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, he, Doug's a friend of mine. Uh, not a good friend, but we're friends. We're friends. Yeah. He is the uh, director of Bear City and Bear City 2, the uh, proposal. So it's going to be showing tonight, actually. Um, and also there's going to be a, uh, a reading, a reading of the Bear City novel by Lawrence Ferber. Lawrence Ferber, we had him in the show a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we talked about that, and it's really an adaptation, a novel adaptation of the movie. So it's, the movie was made first before the... Right. So what do you think of that? The script's already made. The script, <laughs> so pretty, the, you pretty the much translate is, it to a book. Anytime you do a movie, you have to cut corners to kind of move the movie along, or else it gets boring. So I guess the book probably goes more into depth about backgrounds and what happens between... I remember at the end of the movie, it kind of skips ahead almost a year, mm-hmm. and um, there's that you wonder what happened between the two main characters and now they have new boyfriends and I don't know maybe developed uh, what happened between them after yeah. the wedding the wedding oh yeah the after happened. it's gonna be they said it's gonna be a uh, Bear City 3 Ooh, someone just unlocked their private photos for me oh really yeah. oh someone god named Tiger oh Tiger <laughs> check you out later Tiger oh t- <laughs> we're still doing so podcast. Right now. I can't, we're I busy can't right now yeah. we're podcasting <laughs> okay so Monday we did the booze cruise you did yeah we did the yeah. booze cruise it's actually about, I think, about 500 people there in the boat. I'm not sure. It does say 500 capacity, but it's not really full. But right. it, was, it was fun. I got to meet Joe. Joe, my God. Joe Jervis. Oh, Joe Jervis. Joe Jervis. I've so, chatted with him before. Yeah. It's interesting every time. And <laughs> I, I, was, I posted it on, on, the, on my pic, our picture on our Facebook. We, we had a very interesting conversation about, well, some adult topics, of course. That's going to be in his book. So we'll probably have him in the show. Uh, sometime in September, maybe when his book comes out. So I'll contact. We'll, we'll, we hope to have him in the show. So we'll see if what it, happens. If anyone doesn't know Joe, my God, is he's a blogger on Twitter. It's a very, very and, famous and gay very, blogger. Yeah, and he's on serious political and gay. Very I'd political, say. gay. Yeah. He covers a lot of topics. He's got yeah. millions and millions of readers of his blogs, subscribers of his blogs, and right. and he's he always uh, comes out at the. Uh, he always he always uh, uh, shows up on uh, Sirius on the uh, Out Q Sirius Out Q and right. Uh, XM Radio. And he's very free with his, his body. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And what else What else happened? Oh, we had a party. We You did you, have you, a party. You had a party. I had a party? Yeah, well, James and the, the two oh, James I had a party. Oh, I went to a party that night. Tell yeah. us about I it. I went to a trailer trash party. Oh, um, my God. I was wearing walk. these, like, cut-off <laughs> jeans that I threw through the washer about ten times, and they were just, like, falling apart. I had, uh, I think, assless underwear on, so uh-huh. and I had a hole in my ass, so my ass was hanging out a little bit. So what's and the theme? What's the theme? It was trailer trash. Trailer, trailer trash. trash theme. And I had a, a bandana around my head that I was <laughs> brand new, because I don't I don't own bandanas. I'm not one of those bandana people. Oh, yeah, you were wearing thing. a bandana. I saw you. That. So right. I put the bandana on. It looked pretty good. And then later on, I was, like, really hot, so I kind of pulled it off. And then James, who was running the party there, um, looked at me and went, your head is blue. Oh, so really? The bandana, because I never washed it, because it's brand oh, new. Oh, it's brand new. It's I guess blood. You blue. My whole head was blue. I so you put it on line. again? I got, yeah, I put the bandana on. <laughs> so that's, that's why you never took it off. Yeah, <laughs> so it was hot, too. It was really hot at the party. It was fun, a lot of fun. I heard that party got a little, well, I saw it get a little crazy. Um, but you know, that po- that house is humongous. It was a really nice, beautiful it's a new, house. It's a, of it's a party house. you have to house. walk really far to get to it, though. Oh, yeah. It, it was about 25, fun. 20, 30 minutes just to get there. It's a yeah. long way. And that, But um, once you get there, it was fun. And uh, I didn't see any overt stuff, but stuff was going on a little bit. And I heard people were in a bubble bath and stuff later. Oh, so really? That's oh, that's nice. So 
they had these huge bathtubs, and they said a bunch of people got in the bath. Oh. Well, so people I don't know what on. happened after that. But, yeah. But, I didn't take pictures, though. Did you take pictures? Uh, I think you did, I don't right? I think I took... Oh, I took a couple pictures. Took a couple they pictures. have a... They have a... Well, I didn't... I didn't get any, like, real bad ones, but they have a roommate that does not wear clothes unless he has to. Oh, okay. So he's, he's so he just wears... walking around the party naked, completely naked. So he wears socks, attractive. though, because well, it's wet. Oh, it's water. Yeah, it's just so water. So I hope so. <laughs> it's just Someone water. just got out of the pool above us. Oh, he's yeah. He's walking around. So. Okay, so was it a lot of... Uh, yeah, lots, lots, of, lots of bears there. So the guy who was naked, he was... Just, was he wearing socks, though? Uh, no, no. no. It was all naked, okay. That'd be nice. Shoes on, I can't remember. I didn't get past his. Oh, okay. Which was very nice. Well, that was Monday. We had, we yeah. had a party. Yeah, there's a party there. And then, you know, Tuesday, yesterday, we just really cooked. We cooked the whole day. You did, yeah. 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 So we made Tuesday some. Was, uh, Tuesday was a fun day for me. I had a good time. Like, um, I, I just, I woke up and went, I uh, didn't do anything in the morning, went to your party. I got my sunglasses back, which I lost. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> Should we talk about how, we how you lost it in the first place? Okay. <laughs> um, it's P-Town. <laughs> what happens sometimes in P-Town? Sometimes people have sex in P-Town. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I <laughs> am way behind where I was last year. I'm going for quality over quantity this oh. year. Oh. But, uh... One of the very quality people I met on, was it Monday or Tuesday, or Sunday? Can't remember. One of those days. I met someone, and I went to his place, and I said, um, don't let me forget these, and I put my sunglasses on his dresser. And uh, <laughs> we had a very memorable experience. That was a that was a ruse. You 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 really left it there so you could go back. I wish I could say that's true, and I would like to go back, and we may do that because we had a lot of fun. Oh okay. But um, you know, it's P town. That doesn't always happen again. But, <laughs> but you know what? It was the first hookup I had here, and if that was the only one, I would I would leave P town thinking it was a good hookup. Like I had a good time. Like this was it was a it was a really fun guy, and he's a sweetheart, and um, we got along very well. <laughs> Anyway, I left my sunglasses there, and yesterday I was stopped by there and picked them back up, so I got a back seat. <laughs> so, that's the story, basically. That's the story. It's, it's kind of a big with. joke with everyone, because I, I right. you know, he went you back sunglasses, for Dave? Sunglasses. So, oh my everyone God. wants to know who, and... Joining us today is Voltaire. Hi, how are you? <laughs> yes, Voltaire is the admin of Asians and Bears Facebook page. Wow. So we've been posting pictures there. He's been po posting some. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cross promotion. Cross promotion there. <laughs> doing. Wait, yesterday was Undies Tuesday, right? <laughs> it was Undies Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, so let, let's talk about uh, P Town. You've been. How many times have you been here at P Town? This is my fourth time, but this is my third. Bear, oh no. This is, no, five times now, I guess. And this is my fourth bear week. Fourth mm. bear week. I oh. know. Uh, how, does that Dave, this, this is our second. Our second, yeah. This yeah. is our second time. So, yeah, we're, so we're far no we're enjoying versions. ourselves. <laughs> still, still a little young on it, but, you know, mm -hmm. you know we don't have 18 years in like some people yet. But. I know. Some people have been going. I, I met some guy who has been... Has been gone since two thousand and five. She he said. Wow, like, that's a lot. Oh, that's home yeah. nine years. Then. Okay, uh, it, it's Look fun that doing math. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> Pinoy. We'd have to do math sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. So you have been. Uh, you you started. I think you started about last year. The Asians in Bears. Uh, yeah. Facebook. Um, so what got you started with that? It's one? funny. It actually started in P Town. And I was going around, there was a lot of Asians in P-Town, and I just, and some of them were coupled, some of them were not, and I was thinking, you know, it's it's quite, I think the idea of the bear community is inclusion, and that was the original thought, and at some point, it didn't get there, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought that it was kind of um. hard for people to meet Asians and bears. And it's funny, because you were a lot of part of this idea, because I went to this Asian restaurant, I think Saki, Saki? Mm -hmm. Is it Saki here here in P Town? Oh yeah, and they we, were we went there. sitting alternating Asians and bears, Asians and bears. Oh, There's that's Nod, right. That was last and your year. Your husband, our... and then oh. it was Jeffrey, and his husband, oh, and it was <laughs> Benny and and Carrie. And I'm like, oh, 
you know, it's, it's a good thing to see and it's very nice. And I said, you know, maybe if I could do my little piece in this world and make it easier for people who like Asian men who are bears um, to meet, and that's, that's my contribution to this community. Oh, I'll nice. be very happy about that. How, how many uh, members do we have now? We are at, we're growing, uh, 271, we're staying there, 272. Uh, we just started a new campaign. Uh, this famous Asian guy who's a bear husband, his name is Louis Kwong, allowed us to use his picture. It's very provocative. So I made it. <laughs> Always a good thing. Yeah, I know. Sex yeah. sells. You should, <laughs> you should join that's in. That's why I do this on every podcast. Yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> well, that's why we tune in. Yeah, that's right. We're waiting for Maynard, uh, the oh. Maynard to do it. Oh, yeah, there okay. There you go. <laughs> You see Nepal there. Tommy Tuesdays. Right there. <laughs> From Instagram. Tommy Tuesdays. Okay, so you, Dave, you should check it out because we, not only Asians, but there are also bears and also bear Asians. Yeah. Oh, bear there. Asians are okay. Yeah. I'll go for that. <laughs> yeah. But I think most of the bears there are probably into Asian. No, actually yeah. not. I find that the people who join it are more open to different kinds of people. Oh. There are, you know, one or two people who are into a very specific type of they're generally open. Uh, the idea is, and it's kind of different in our group, is because, you know, there are always these Facebook groups that post internet pictures and all of that. Yeah. Our group tends to be a mix of posting about ourselves and posting about a little bit of, of, of pictures from the internet. And the idea is to create a safe space to feel comfortable with themselves and with their bodies. And, you know, it's, it's hard. I think uh, there is a very strong uh, push being an Asian man, I don't know if you have the same experience to be mm -hmm. twinky, submissive, uh, young, you know, <laughs> and uh, when I was a young Asian man going in New York and there was a bar in New York, I think we talked about this in the group, that were very specific in their types, you know, and so I'm like, I never fought, I never fit that type until mm -hmm. I discovered the bear community and I felt, uh, in lack of a better word, mm -hmm. at home. Right. So, and now including that feeling into a group and to feel, to make that a safe space for people to feel comfortable is my main goal. Yeah. I always think this is an interesting topic, and I have a totally different take on it than most people, but um, we've talked about it on the podcast before, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to belabor that, but um, what do you, your group is totally different than the Asians and Friends group, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Actually, okay. yes, it is. Yeah, very, very, very different. Very right? different. Yeah. Right. Because I'm a member of Asians and Friends Houston. Uh -huh. Right. So are, are you in the Apony? Uh, there's, no. there's a group where you're not a no. member of them. Either. No. Because, yeah, I would understand that. Not that I'm that. opposed to it. I, I think they're yeah. doing a lot of good stuff for the, the Okay, Asian just community. be honest. I, I'm, I'm also I'm in, a member of uh, Asians and Friends, but I haven't been active in it. Right. But uh, I'm more in the bear community, really. You're like fairly like active guess, in yeah. our group. So yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's um, what we do. Cool. I, I, yeah, I, I think it's a niche that we didn't we didn't have. I mean, there's other groups there. There's think a, the, another Asian bear group, mm -hmm. and then there's another blue bears and panda groups. They're all, <laughs> they're, you know, it's all good, and we all kind of try to cross promote, you know, and, and help each other out. Yeah. I think what makes us different is that not only do we encourage people to feel comfortable about themselves, we also encourage like a feel a feeling of family, where like I I try to make people. Uh, be tactful and be kind. We only have two rules in the group: be kind and be respectful. Right. So there's no cattiness and all that. I personally make sure that, that people will feel safe um, and find a way to express their opinions and be free to express their opinions in a respectful and kind manner. Right. It's the Buddhist in me, I guess. Wow. Kind too. Like <laughs> Please be nude also. No, yes. no. <laughs> <laughs> Within that's Facebook close. rules, as much yeah. as you can. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> or else you'll be flagged. Uh, there, I, I realize that there are there's a lot of bisexual men there too. You know, guys who like big guys, bisexual who are small guys too. Yeah, I, I, it's very interesting. It's a very it's a very good group. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I've met a couple of people who are members of the site who who says says it does feel like a family, and that's what I'm trying to call. Did you guys do an event? We did. <laughs> oh, tell us about it. Tell us about yeah. it. Asian and bears there a lot meeting. Of okay. were able to go, but it, it, it's. Uh, uh, we did uh, the cruise around the Hudson. Uh, the Metro Bears used to do it in New York. There, there's a cruise that goes around the Hudson. Um, the Metro Bears are no longer in uh, in existence, but they did it today. And there was something that went wrong with the planning, but it was a good start. Yeah, you know, we have our T-shirts. You know, you can check it out on the website if you join. Hello. I thought you were gonna wear it. I oh. was, but there was a stain, and I'm there like, was a I stain. can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, what kind of stain? I wonder. Mm. Mm. Like a little <laughs> Asian and bear stain. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Must be a bear stain. Asian and bears stain. Oh bears! <laughs> 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 Must be a lot. <laughs> Must be a lot. It is Pete Town. 
<laughs> Gets blasted on Tumblr. All right. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Something more about you. Me? You, yes. We were talking about it earlier. I just wanted to broadcast it. You were, you played in a, in a show, in a uh, musical. I was an actor for a while. Um, not a big deal kind of thing. It's like more of like regional community theater in New Jersey okay. and in Florida. I, I was in Miss Saigon and I think that's one of the things. I, it was the first regional theater production in New Jersey. And I lucked out to be in it. Wow. It was good. I was hearing really, sing really well because you played the engineer. Mm-hmm. And uh, in Miss Saigon, there's a character named the engineer. Yeah. So. yeah. That's it, an awesome character. Yeah. It, it was, it, it, I literally died after every show. <laughs> but, you know, that's, just, it, that's, that's a good theater performance. Uh, how I many, how many shows did you make? It, it wasn't a lot because it's one of those theaters that occur in the summer. Mm-hmm. It was every day for a certain period of time. So. Oh, okay. Every day. Every oh. day. For a very, you get a day off a week. Did but, you ever get to meet uh, Leia Salonga? I did, and she was very nice. And I saw her in Miss Saigon, and I saw her boobies. And I don't <laughs> know how I feel about that. Oh, <laughs> I, no. I only saw her as a little kid, you know. Oh, okay. She was really cool, and I liked her a lot. And I didn't need to see her boobies. But okay. It was nice. It was Leia, nice. hi, Leia. if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, all, I'm all about nudity for, on anyone. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, I whatever. know. It, it's, boobies, it's, it's art. Penises. Right. <laughs> I, I, it's good. You know. <laughs> it's all good. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so any um, words to our friends from Asians and Bears uh, Facebook page who might be watching this? Oh, one? they they will be, I am hoping. Uh, they're, I'm very happy with our family, and uh, they're, they're very sweet people, and they're very good people, and I'm glad that they're there. And if you're not familiar with it, uh, we've just changed the link, so it's easier to go to now. It's facebook.com slash group slash backslash... Asians and Bears. Asians and Bears. Oh, cool. I want to be Great. easier to see. Yeah, so check it out on Facebook. Put yeah. the links on the website for We're you guys to cool. check out. All on right. these Tuesdays, every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Is this in a bar you guys do that? What's, what's this no, on these Tuesdays uh, thing? Oh, uh, we post pictures of ourselves. Oh, pictures in our on the site. Oh, nice. Yeah, so check you should that see out. that. Check it's, it out. Yeah, this is like funny because like uh, for a while people were posting other, you know, like pictures from the internet and the members did say we were interested in meeting or uh, seeing our members do it. Right. And as you, as the time progresses, you know, they you see more and more participation. That's we're fun. taking a break off of the summer, but uh, we're trying to post our summer pic- vacation pictures. We're having a little bit of a contest. So oh. It'll be fun. I'm too you shy. Know, if you were to, <laughs> to post Oh, angry. you're so cute. You should be shot. If you were to create an Asian and Bear's Tumblr account, you can post. There is one. Oh, oh, there is there one. Is one. <laughs> get to the good oh, and got, you know, it took us a while to get there, but <laughs> there is one. Somebody did create it, um, and there are some pictures there. Okay. Maybe they're cross posted no. from. Uh, no. There's other a Facebook Mongolian page. porn site with me in it. I was like, oh. Oh really? So Mongolia. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I'm big in Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> I posted uh, a couple. Uh, nude pictures of myself for the first time on Tumblr not that long ago. Uh, no face pictures, but cool. yeah. Um, it was, it was, and the link to that feeling. is. <laughs> we'll tell you later. We'll but tell you isn't later. that something else? Is that <laughs> yeah. There is a growth to it. You know, yeah. There's a bit feeling comfortable within yourself. Feeling yeah, comfortable definitely. to take your shirt off for the first time in a bare event. I went through yeah. an issue of that yesterday because I couldn't decide which singlet to wear at the singlet party. One oh, yeah. we Really? Like I had to take pictures really of that really one. Like, Maybe I'll post oh, some. Oh, you can post them. I've seen this camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> the singlets, though. Did you, you didn't you go singlet? I had a singlet I couldn't bring myself to wear. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not shy, but right. this particular singlet I had had a pouch. Yeah. Oh, that's basically, bottom, okay. like, kind of. Yeah, mine kind of did. Put too. yourself in. Uh, okay. And it, it was like me, but like pointing with a straw the whole time. <laughs> like, oh. I don't know that this is the kind of thing I want to do. So maybe next. Others year, cheated. They wear. They wore a, um, a jock strap underneath. Yeah. But that yeah. defeat the purpose, right? A couple. <laughs> no, I think people I wanted to see best did that, and I was like, mm, mm-hmm. shouldn't do that. Yeah, it doesn't really <laughs> A little known secret. Yeah. And I'm saying this on camera. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, the guy who who sponsored the, all the singlet events is called All the Singlet Ladies. Is right. Nick Liddell. Oh, the Singlet Ladies. Yes. Okay. And all I actually came ladies, to Nick Liddell. Yes, I actually came to him because he was wearing a singlet about three years ago. And I said, is this where all the singlet ladies are? And he laughs. And of course, it became an event the next year. So. Ah, I oh, see. Good. So Here that's how it's started. Oh, it's Thank him. Voltaire it's all him. That. It's all Voltaire's fault. Okay. <laughs> I'm responsible. I'm taking you know, full responsibility. You can bet Last you. year and this year, the singlet <laughs> tee was probably one of my highlights. Big time. I love that. You wore whole, you won yesterday. Uh, well, 
I'd like to wear one one of these days. Maybe, I don't know. You'll be very cute. <laughs> do it. You'll be very cute. Where do you awesome. get them anyway? What did you get? Online. Just uh, online? I've got two now from Full Kit here in Full Provincetown Kit has and right. one from Skivvies in Dallas. Oh, okay. Maybe but you can, can buy them online. Skivvies in Dallas. You can from... get them easy for you. You can find your size anywhere. My size too, but when you get big, I feel like I'm too small for it. I don't know. The no, bigger there's, boys there's have a hard time finding the singlet. Right. The big ones. Oh, okay. There's, there's a, you know, a whole range of wrestlers. <laughs> you get the skinny we guys and the big about guys. This too. I like that. There's I was probably looked, I wrestled at 112 and 119 pounds in high school. You used to wrestle? Oh, there's yeah, video four years Wow, that must be hot. Yeah. I was, a, I was a good wrestler. Would you wrestle now if you uh, find someone? I wrestle oh, wrestling, sometimes yeah. some Okay. <laughs> Here, uh, okay, on camera you can wrestle. You're going to wrestle me. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, <laughs> like, oh, careful. Hold I'm not wearing any. They're underwear, but it's... I don't oh, know. really? <laughs> well, oh, my God. The kind of wrestling I this, do now is This podcast may become X-rated. <laughs> okay. It may. It may be X-rated. Are you tuning in? That's right. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay, so, well, thank you both oh, there for joining we us. We should hand the camera out. It's going to be... Way, the it's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah, it's a good day today. We're going to record some more and uh, Instagramming it Instagramming some pictures <laughs> <laughs> well okay thank you I adore these thank guys you. good All luck right. to you alright good to meet you right. good to meet you bye <laughs> Good for you. But yesterday was fun because I went to their party. Which yep, was we fun. had a small oh, party. I ate my my belly. I ate more at your party than probably the whole week we combined so, so far. We had so much food. We had jambalaya. We had uh, potato salad. Well, we didn't have noodles. Oh yeah, you didn't get. To. Someone had to start it late because someone was using the stove. Somebody else. Yeah. Someone. Mainly did. me. <laughs> it took a long time. <laughs> me and it took too long. But you know what? Those noodles came out perfect. So. Yeah, I was surprised myself. Yeah. I had to bring those directly from. Boston. I had to buy them from a Chinese restaurant, a Chinese store right. in Boston to bring it here because I don't, I don't know if they're gonna have it in Pita. Yeah, it's so, hard to find some things here. It's yeah, smaller. so I want to make sure. Last year I did egg rolls. This time I did noodles. So then at your party, I, I had uh, last night is a they have singlet tea. Mm -hmm. um, the, the listeners know about tea parties, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. They do. Yeah, so they have singlet tea once. Once a, uh, I did it last year. I had a blast, and our friend Devin just kept using me as his, as his foil to get pictures of all the hot guys he wanted to get pictures of because I was in the <laughs> singlet. He's like, hey, will you take a picture of my friend Dave in a singlet? So he's taking all kinds of pictures. So go to um, I wasn't too effective Tumblr. on this one. Well, we tried. Yeah. We tried. Well, this, well, this year um, I, had, I bought a new singlet, which was very revealing, and I, I didn't know if I could wear it. Oh, really? Oh, the one with that? Yeah. That's I, a, 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 some a, of the plunge. singlets plunge that kids the... wear go under the belly. Yeah, it and goes under the belly. Just above like your that. crotch. And I bought one of those. And everyone loves it on me. But because I they get, get to look at like that. Yeah, that's the other thing. People just pull the top off and you see your junk. But It's so I, easy. Easy access. I had bought a new singlet that I never wore before in Dallas at TBRU. So I wanted to wear that one. And I'm sure I'll wear this one somewhere. Um, so now I have three. I think that's three more than anyone really needs. Yeah. So, I don't see um, why you need three, but yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> They're real expensive for the amount of times you wear it. For yeah, two, you only wear it probably once or twice. Well, once a year, twice a year. But you know One for what? TBRU, one for... One, one for, for uh, Pita. Pita, yeah. yeah. And, you know, there'll be events. A lot of new Houston Bear events. We're starting to come out with a lot of fun things to do in our, oh, in our right. club. Yeah. Um, so maybe I'll get to wear it at one of them. Yep. But, um, yeah, it's, the one was really revealing. So I tried them on at Maynard's party and uh, had some of their, the people there, uh, our friend Jared. Oh, uh, yeah. Jared watches the show. Hey, Jared. Hey, Jared. Um, he, uh, he liked one over the other. Everyone did. And, uh, <laughs> but I wore the one that I wanted to wear. Well, I wanted the, the uh, more revealing one. but you. Yeah, I wanted one. the more revealing one, except for a couple of people. But, um, so I wore the one that wasn't quite as revealing, but it was plenty revealing. <laughs> Trust me, my balls were everywhere. So I, I had fun there, and I took a lot of pictures. The Maynard took I took lots camera. of pictures yeah. in between. In between singlets. So. Oh, in between singlets. <laughs> yeah. When you were changing. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. <laughs> Maynard, while I was changing, Maynard was up there too, and he kept taking pictures of me naked. Luckily, it's my camera. It's his camera, so it's okay. So, so it's I have camera. Lots of naked not my pictures camera. on my own camera. Yeah. Great. So, so with the Plymouth Rock. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plymouth Rock, Naked Dave, Naked Dave. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we'll post those on the website for you now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, but then we went to Singlet Tea, and uh, yeah. you got there really late. I couldn't find. You yeah, for because a long time. we had visitors. We had uh, people coming in late. Yeah. And they wanted to try the the uh, the sling. Thank you very oh, much, Ben and Car- Barry, that. Benny and Carrie. Their house has a sling okay, set this, up in the garage. It's a portable sling. It's TSA approved because it can TSA fit. Approved. <laughs> TSA they approved. They didn't fly with it. Did they? No, they didn't fly oh, with okay. it. But they said they said you could you could um, fold it and really make it small enough that it can be shipped. It can be checked wow. in. So that's why we call it TSA approved that sling. That's pretty sturdy. <laughs> it must be heavy to ship it though. Oh yeah, it's about 75 pounds in total. Oh, so they'll be like paying big, no, big no, but, uh, extra bag fees. Yeah, you that. still pay. Thanks, but, United. Yeah, you, you still pay, but it's it's shippable. Yeah, right, right. It's shippable. You, I mean, you can you can check it in. Cool. How convenient is that? That's very <laughs> portable, convenient. Portable uh, sling. I did look at it, and I hear a friend of ours got in it. All right. Just, <laughs> just to give it a we test, were People are just run. trying on it. It's got springs, too. He's very worried you're going to put that picture on the podcast. So All right. Oh, we're not going we're not gonna to put that in the podcast. Yeah. You can ask nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. I tell him I have it. I'm blackmail him. But, okay. You know, so I'm not nearly as nice as Nard is. <laughs> yeah. He would post it, I won't. I would totally. So, right now, it's a Wednesday. It's a midweek, and, yeah, we're kind of... I don't know. It's been like four days of tea dances, and I don't know if I can handle another tea dance. Really? I love the tea dances. You like the tea dances? I do. I do get... I, well, you know, I have a reason to go there today. Oh, that's right. You're... I know someone that's staying in the boat slip. Ah, that's fine. He wants to find that tea. And it, is, it is fun. I mean, it is overwhelming. I, I'm warning you guys, if you guys are you haven't been to P-Town and you've been... You want to go to, uh, you know, to Bear Week. It is quite kind of overwhelming because there will be thousands every day in one place from five, from four to seven here at the, uh, at the boat slip. So it's just really, really, uh, you know. It's a, it's the same thing every day, but they do a couple of themes. Today's not a theme. Oh, today's a theme. It is. It's sarong. I thought tomorrow was sarong. Is it today? No, yeah, it's today. Oh, sarong at four o'clock. So well, sarong there you go. day at the boat slip. So the, those are the two main ones you have to go to, sing, singlet and sarong. I don't do sarongs, but I will be happy to go and, you know, look. That would be something I could have worn, right? I could have brought, bought a yeah, sarong. Yeah. yeah, you'd be like Chapter Island guy in the sarong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Are you going to swim? Are we going to walk all the way now to, uh, to Provincetown Inn? Um, they have a huge, huge pool. Have yeah, you, I'm and, gonna go there. Uh, I haven't been yet. And it's everyone just crazy says it's big. the best place to go to the pool now. It is actually. And they say all the bears are there. So. Yep. And I think we get in. You get in for free, I guess. I think so. Yeah. Okay. If not, I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm getting bit by a damn. Oh my God! The mosquitoes? No, mosquitoes? it's a sand fly. It's a sand fly. Well, Sorry, the... folks. Sand fly attack. That was big. It was. Yeah. Was but you see, you saw the mosquitoes here. There's some They're bad mosquitoes. Really, here. really big. And they really consume you. They, you could really lose you know weight. Works the best it's just so is? big, so big. Did you ever see those off like wipes where you wipe wipe yourself with the off wipe? Mm-hmm. Um, that worked the best for me, better than the spray did. The spray ones. Yeah, I don't know why. I usually I don't, don't get mosquitoes around me, so mm-hmm. I don't know why. I guess here. It's not as sweet as me. I'm not as <laughs> right <laughs> or diabetic. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, okay. So oh. this is well. So this is episode four seventy eight. Uh, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go to some pool parties and uh, and um, some. We need to eat lunch too. Have you have you eaten? I've not eaten lunch. Oh, we have to eat something. I'm hungry. Let's I'm hungry go myself. walk that way and we can eat. We can eat somewhere. Okay, so uh, before we go, uh, first of all, congratulations to to uh, Britain for uh, passing for uh, you know legalizing uh, gay marriage because the Queen just signed uh, signed it in law now. Wow. Yeah. So. Congratulations to our English and uh, you know the British friends. You're good. Queen um, Elizabeth II is a classic broad. Yeah, those who have civil unions can now convert it to marriages, so really? they can do that now. So congratulations, England, and uh, happy for you. Hope the same thing would happen to Texas. I don't know. Awesome. That's right now. Anyway, so one more shout outs. Shout outs to Jared. Jared. Yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> Chris and Taurus. I met them at the booze cruise. And then uh, Michael from uh, Colorado, met him too. Gus and Rob from Miami, I hanged out with them with, at the uh, uh, Crown and Anchor yesterday. Okay. He had a long chat. Uh, he had a long chat at the Crown and Anchor, and uh, it was really fun just chatting with him. How about you? Any shout-outs? Uh, 
Um, sure. There's uh, the Aussie Bears that live here in, in P Town. I'd like to say hi to them. They're uh, awesome guys, uh, Ed and uh, Steve. And um, some other people that I'm not going to mention by name. I'd okay. like to say hi to you. Uh, and uh, my. The, the sunglass guy? Huh? Sunglass guy? Sunglass guy, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Sunglass guy. My, my, okay. uh, my awesome group of people in my house, there's. I think 13 of us and every, 13 in a house I couldn't be happier with my living situation this year I'm like right over there on the beach really I wake easy. up every morning to this uh, beautiful view of which no one can see because we're <laughs> it's yeah. the whole bay in front of me and uh, everyone is so nice and uh, but especially David and Jay and Wheeler and Tim they um friends from DC like David's really nice yeah yeah Great. he's a really yeah. nice guy yeah. mm-hmm. okay so I guess uh, that's it for our P-Town adventure we'll probably record well this this is going to be a show for next week so uh, I guess this is pre-recorded by the time you guys watch this will be next week and by the time you guys watch this we may already be back in Houston so uh, then we'll be on with our regular programming after that so (laughs) regular programming okay so thank you everyone for watching or listening if you want to contact us send your emails to show at bearpodcast.com or you can give us a call and leave us a message at 206-222-BEAR. It's 206-222-2327. Leave us a voicemail and we'll play it on the show. Actually, we do have voicemails. About three voicemails. Do we? About, about last week's... Uh, about, oh. about manscaping. Oh, really? Or, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and a voicemail nice. from Devin. So we'll play that next week when, you know, regular, regular, when we're doing a regular um, uh, programming. Back in the in the Houston studios. That's nice. Right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, subscribe by iTunes and um, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and um, listen to us on uh, Stitcher Radio. Also, go subscribe on YouTube and uh, Vimeo, and go to the official website at bearpodcast.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching or listening, and we'll catch you guys next week. And we'll send many hugs. Wolf, water bear.